I'm going to guide you through the basic toolkit. It's in a wonderful carry case, easy for you to transport for, to all of your craft sessions. And I'm going to guide you through every single tool. We're going to start off with something that's really, really useful when you go to your craft clubs. This is a storage kit, a little storage box with clickable openings that you can keep all your crimp beads, as you can see, we all use those here. Keep your crimp beads, your findings, and I'll be talking you through those later. Then we have an awl. This is like a nail file. You can use this to um, make the holes bigger in your pearls to get the dust that's inside, um, and it's an extremely useful tool. The second tool is a scoop. For anyone who does, does beading, with very fine beads, will find this very useful. Just scoop up your beads off your mat and tip them back into the box. Really, really useful tool. The next one are tweezers. Now these are, are particularly useful when you've got tiny, tiny little things right at the bottom of your toolkits and uh, in your little boxes and you want to pick up your little crimps. Really perfect. It means that you don't damage them by using your pliers and you, you sometimes mark them, so that's brilliant. Then we have these snips. These are perfect for your elastic or for the cords of the uh, gemstone strands when you get them home, the temporary strands. That's perfect just for snipping those little cords. Then we move on to the important part of the kit. We move on to the, the proper tools that you will use all the time. These are round nose pliers. They are called round nose because of the shape, obviously. You can make graduating coils that you can cut into various size jump rings. Perfect for doing your ear wires, and you'll see me use those a lot uh, throughout the demonstrations. Then you have these. These are flat nose, or sometimes called chain nose pliers. They are flat inside, no grooves at all. Try to avoid using pliers at all costs that have grooves inside because it marks your wires. And those are for um, keeping your wires neat and tidy, especially when you're doing things with jump rings. It just keeps them nice and firm. Right, the last one is your wire cutters. Please don't use these for anything more than a 1mm or 1.25 wire. If you're going to use something like a memory wire, please use the appropriate pliers because you will dent these. So you need a different type of plier. But for your first starter kit, these are perfect for all your, your threads, your ribbons, your elastic. It's perfect for any job that you will, uh, you, you will need during your jewelry making journey. And that is your toolkit. <laughs>